didn't upload a picture of work or anything for me, so it, I, I don't know what you're trying. But first thing I'm going to do is say, right, what's the mean value theorem? Um, so the mean value theorem is the theorem that says the derivative at some value c is equal to the slope of the function voila, uh, the slope of the function if the function is continuous on the closed interval of 1 to 7 and because this is just the natural log function we know it has an asymptote at 0 but that doesn't pose an issue from the values of 1 to 7 it would be continuous and it has to be differentiable on the open interval of 1 to 7 so therefore if we were to take the derivative of it, we could verify that it would just be 1 over x. And it is differentiable on 1 to 7, it's just not differentiable at 0. So we're fine. So therefore, we know that there is a c somewhere in here, such that there is a derivative such that um, it will equal the slope. So we've got to figure out what that slope is. So therefore, when I substitute in 7, I get natural log of 7 minus natural log of 1 all over 6. Um, so therefore, what's the natural log of 1? Well, that's 0. Um, so therefore, I end up with the natural log of 7 over 6. So now the question is, is what value of c will result in that slope? So therefore, all right, so we, we I already kind of showed you, but my derivative function is equal to 1 over x. So the question is, is what value of x results in this slope? What value of x results in natural log of 7 divided by 6? So now we just do a little bit of solving. I multiply both sides by x. Um, so that'll give me x times natural log of 7 divided by 6 equals 1. And then I multiply the uh, other way. So I multiply by 6, natural log of 7. Multiply by 6, natural log of 7. So that divides with that, that divides with that, leaving me with x equals 6 over natural log of 7. And there you go, there's your there's your value. Now, the, the problem didn't ask for x, it asked for c. So what value? There you go. Um, so I don't know where you were struggling, but the idea here is, you know, you have to understand what the mean value theorem is talking about. That's the key to this. And it's, it's the mean value theorem says, uh, one more time, that mean, average, average rate of change, aka slope, right? The slope is equal to the derivative at some value. So meaning the average rate of change from point A to point B, there must be a tangent line somewhere along the way that would be uh, kind of parallel. That wasn't very good, but you get the idea, I think. Parallel to the blue line. Pa there, there was at some point, and we know that point is at the value of 6 divided by natural log of 7. Okay, hope that helps.